Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Yes, I'm doing a, a couple of videos. I pre-record another one after this for when I'm away. I haven't left yet. I don't leave till Friday. But having said that, I haven't even packed yet. I'm still working tomorrow and then I have a couple of days off to pack and get ready to go to the Northern Hemisphere, to the UK and Europe to visit my son and have a bit of fun. So, what have I got for you? A couple of finished objects and some happy mail I received. And I'd like to share them with you and hope you enjoy the content and get some inspiration from it. So, let's get started. First of all, the happy mail. Now, the happy mail is from Mel, the Beanie Queen in WA. She does have a YouTube channel, so her channel will be in the description below. Make sure you check her out. She just doesn't make beanies. She just happens to call herself the Beanie Queen because she makes a lot of beanies for charity. She sent the card separate to the parcel because she forgot to put it in the parcel. I love gardens. I think this is beautiful. It's a beautiful card with some lovely sentiments in it. And I really appreciate the parcel, Mel. Thank you so much. So what was in the parcel? Well yarn of course two bags of cocoon yarn 10 balls in orange Ta -da! this was one of my favorite yarns and lo and behold spotlight where you could get it discontinued it it's anti-pilling eight ply or three-way 100 percent acrylic it is beautiful and soft lovely to work with i i have made a couple of blankets for crochet for ch um, cancer in it i usually use a 3.75 mil crochet hook it turns out really well i do know i have some lavender color in my stash won't be a moment but i don't think i have any other color that would go with the orange i'd really like to get my hands on some brown or something like that to do like an autumn colored blanket. I think that would be awesome. Maybe I'll have to check out Facebook Marketplace or put out a call out there and offer to buy some brown. But this is beautiful yarn and no doubt I could make one solid orange blanket. Um, it's just gorgeous, I love it. Thank you so much Mel for thinking of me. She really thought of me because she put two chocolate Chiquitos in there. Da! I'll have to eat these before I go away. I can't leave them behind for the Reeves to have. He's not allowed to have chocolate, peanuts, popcorn. Or he can have really dark chocolate, but he can't have milk chocolate for the next three months while he gets this health issue under control. So yes, I'll have to make sure I eat those before I go so nice when someone just sends you something at random just because they're thinking of you it's nice to know that there are people out there who your name crosses their mind and they think of you thank you so much mel maybe one day i'll come to wa 90 percent of my family live there you think i'd have an excuse to go there and hopefully if i do we can catch up it would be awesome first finished object well, it is something to take on my UK trip. It's my knitted cowl to match my fingerless gloves I showed in my last video. So I decided I would knit a cowl for myself. And I did check around for patterns, but nothing that really struck me. So I knitted a cowl combining different techniques and patterns that I have used in the past. I did make pattern notes. I may make another one and then if it works out well, I'll draft a pattern and give it away free or something. I used the Pantanile Artistry 4-ply. I held two together to get like a thicker weight for the cowl. I didn't want it too light a weight. And I probably used about 120 grams of it in the cowl, probably a bit more. I do have this left. I am tempted to buy another one, another hank. I make myself a muscle borough and have a matching set of mittens, cowl and hat, but I won't have time before I go. The colour is purple mix. Do 
want to see my cow? Now, it's on Ethel. It's not great trying to... I'm doing the filming here at the moment because there's just so much junk in the other room with my suitcases and packing. But there it is. That's my cow. So I did like a 10 stitch garter stitch ridge on each edge. And I started at the bottom and knitted the front flap up to the shoulders and put it on stitch holder. Did the back exactly the same way. When I joined the two, I kept the shoulders on a stitch holder, both sides, and then I knitted the neck in the round with a two by two rib. I did an eye cord bind off because I want to be able to wear, sorry, trying to get comfortable, the neck different ways. So you can wear it like that, or I can fold it right down and have it like that when I'm a little bit warmer. Or when it's really cold, sorry, a lot of air traffic noise today because it's sunny and beautiful and everybody's out flying their planes. Or I can scrunch it up and wear it like that. It does look better on me than it does on Ethel, but I really like it and I'm really proud of myself that I um, got it to work out. I'll try and take some photos of it so you can see it better and put them at the end. What I did do was I Kitchener stitched the shoulders together. Other patterns I have done like this, you sew them together and they never look quite neat, but the Kitchener stitch has turned out perfectly. So these are knitting techniques I have picked up from doing Stephen West patterns. I cord bind off, Kitchener stitch, and thinking outside the square as to what I really want in a pattern. But that is my cowl to match my fingerless gloves that I showed you in a previous video. I'll put a link up here somewhere so you can check those out. So that was my first finished object. Knitting takes a while. You know, there was a bit of frogging working out, so it took a bit longer than like just whipping up a cowl. So, next finished object. Well, Hooker versus Hooker is coming to an end for August. And August was a Halloween project, anything you wanted to make that represented Halloween in the color purple, black, green, orange, and white. Halloween colors. So, yeah, it's sort of like, oh, I don't have a lot of Halloween colors. Halloween's not big here. They do try and make it big, but it never really takes off. But I remembered the lovely Raylene, my Yarny friend and subscriber, had sent me some Halloween biscuits, which are these. I picked this one up from Spotlight. I picked up three, purple and black two and this one. They're out on special for $3. I was hoping to get more and do a blanket, but there's only 150 meters in a biscuit. And they are a funny weight yarn. They're not quite a three ply, but they're definitely not a 10 ply. They quite have quite a halo, and you have to make sure you use a crochet technique is spot on or you'll split them. But that's one I bought because the two railings sent me, it was purple, green, and black, and one was orange and black. And I came up with the project, which I hope represents Halloween. Here she is, Sally, the jelly, Halloween jellyfish. Now this is a pattern by y.o.h crochet Anita, a lovely friend Anita. I'll put a link to her YouTube channel and a link to her Ravelry store because she has some awesome amigurumi patterns. Look, I firmly believe when I started out doing amigurumis, it was her patterns that got me into it because they're so easy to read. They're not that difficult and you get a great finished project. project. It's got orange tentacles, purple tentacles, black, green. I gave it all the colors, purple lips. I think she's really cute. I did contemplate doing a little witch's hat, but I ran out of time and I really didn't have enough yarn left from these two cakes. Sally the jellyfish I have made before. Anita gifted me the pattern and I really loved it. My first Anita patterns, I won one from Charmed Grammy. 
and she actually sent me four of Anita's patterns. I've made two of them, I have two to go. I really do like them and she has just released another pattern. She has released Melly the Lima. It's in my wish list because I do like them. Her patterns are reasonably priced. For me they work out to just over five dollars but I think they're under four dollars if US. So make sure you check out her Ravelry store. If you're into Amigurumi, please try one of her patterns and let me know how you go. So that was Hooker versus Hooker for August. I'll have to send off a photo and hopefully I met the criteria of what was required. So Hooker versus Hooker for September. I got up Sunday morning at eight o'clock to watch the live of the picking of the colors and the projects. Determined I would do this while I was traveling. It's not that hard. Plenty of yarn stores in Europe. <laughs> the colors came out. So we have gray, brown, green, red, and yellow. Supposedly fall colours, because it is going into the fall in the Northern Hemisphere, or as autumn we call it. But yes, they were the colours, and I thought, okay, let's see what the project is. These ladies, I don't know what they're on, what what makes them, come, what's in the water, but they came up with this project, and I think my brain exploded. The project is anything you want to make, as long as it looks like a scarecrow. It's a scarecrow project. And I thought, you've got to be kidding me. I don't even know half the time what a scarecrow looks like. I did have to look some up. There will be some, I have seen them around the UK and Scotland when we were driving in farmers fields. But yes, you can use some burlap or hesham, I think they call it a little bit, pipe cleaners, a bit of wood but you cannot use buttons. You have to make the eyes if you're doing something that requires eyes. So I'm thinking, oh, I really want to keep doing this. And I even want to do it while I'm traveling. So last night I came up with sort of an idea of what I could make. I researched it. There is only one knitted pattern out there and this has to be crocheted. And then my friend Aulia stopped by the office today you know, to say farewell before I travel and talked it over with her. And yeah, she made me excited about it. So it will be something I put together, my pattern, so to speak. But I do know I will be taking something from one of Anita's patterns to help me with my project. I'll let you know which one. But that was my hooker versus hooker for August. So I hope you look forward to my hooker versus hooker for September. Whatever I can come up with for a scarecrow. Please ladies, stop drinking the water up there. <laughs> it is a challenge, I love it. I do enjoy hooker versus hooker. I love watching the lives and having a laugh. And I enjoy the challenge of thinking outside the square. But you really stepped outside the square with the scarecrow. Truly. So guys, I will record another video before I go. Something I thought we could do together while I'm traveling if you want to take part. And yeah, keep an eye out for that. You may find a bit of a surprise in that video. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Make sure you have one crafty day and keep an eye out for my holiday adventures from the Northern Hemisphere. I won't be drinking the water. <laughs> no, <laughs> things come out of your head that you wouldn't think of. Okay, bye for now.